Right, several days ago I showed this rifle in one of my videos and this is called the Cetra. It's made in Spain and it's a vintage air rifle made um, around the 1970s and it's a pump-up pneumatic um, air rifle 0.22 and in that video I said that the valve was sticking inside which it is and I've had to make up this tool here to take the valve retainer um, nut out that's successful but now I've got to make up another tool to fit the thread inside and pull the whole valve assembly out and I am hoping to actually repair this one completely back into working order and hopefully show the performance of it at a later date if it all works out if it doesn't um, and I can't get the assembly out inside or whatever then I'll put it all back together again and just keep it as a display rifle so I'll give an update on this one at a later day but today I'd just like to show you this one here this is a new endoscope that I've got it's made by InScam and it's the InScam 209 model endoscope with a 4.3 inch display it's aimed at the medical market for um, looking into ears or whatever and obviously um, working on the ears if you have problems I have problems with my ears sometimes and I found it absolutely excellent for that purpose but I also got this endoscope because I actually knew that it'd be a brilliant endoscope for engineering purposes um, like looking down inside the bores of air rifles or whatever Plus it'll be an excellent endoscope for looking at engineering projects in the workshop. And that's because it has a 4.3 inch 1080p high definition display. It can take HD videos and high quality photos. And it has a built in rechargeable lithium ion battery 3.7 volts with a battery life of 2.5 hours the power input is DC 5 volt 500 milliamp 1 amp so it can be charged with an ordinary USB charger or off the computer and several days ago I did a review on this one here this LCD handheld digital endoscope again made by InScam this one's industrial quality and has many different um, purposes of use and if you have a look at that video you'll see how good this one is and why it's such a great seller at the moment and again because this one's made by InScam it's got the brilliant quality it's been well thought out and has some excellent features and if you use endoscopes even in engineering although this one's aimed at the medical market I think it's absolutely brilliant it has a 5.5 millimeter diameter camera so it's smaller than the one that I've just shown you that one has an 8 millimeter camera obviously this one can get into smaller diameter bores the length of the cable is 1.2 um, meter so that's good And the camera has six bright LEDs with a um, threaded end on the inside here. That's because when you actually get the um, endoscope in the box, you get several um, different tools. And it does come in this excellent gift type box. It's solid cardboard and the USB cables in there the instruction manuals in this nice little cardboard envelope and there's cutouts for the actual unit under that you have the eight different tools obviously for working in your ear and an adapter with the C-type um, USB and that's um, an excellent feature on this one it has the modern C-type USB socket so it doesn't matter which way you plug it in and you charge the battery by pulling the camera out and obviously um, plugging in the USB charger and charging it on a USB type plug or onto the computer 
and when it's charging there's a small red LED that comes on there and goes out when it's fully charged and they recommend to give it a full charge before using it. You have a TF card slot there and I've put a 32 gigabyte one in there. They recommend class A or higher so I've used a class 10 um, TF card. And what I really like about this unit, not only is it brilliant on photos and videos or whatever and the clarity, but it's a nice small unit that you can virtually take anywhere. So to turn the unit on, it's a long press of the button down here. And it comes up there, camera inserted. And straight away, you can see the excellent display on that one. You can see the lights on the end of the camera. So now I'm putting it down the bore of the um, rifle or the cylinder of the rifle and you can see inside there the actual valve that I've got to take out um, because it's such an old rifle um, there's a lead seal down there and when I actually uh, take that valve out I'm going to take that lead seal out and actually replace it with one that I'm going to make out of PTFE But you can see there that it's an excellent little endoscope for you using on engineering projects. And it is actually the centre part of that valve that you can see there, the steel part, you can see the rest is uh, bronze or brass. Um, that steel um, component in the center there is a pin and that's um, actually knocked forward by the hammer and hammer spring to actually release the air through the air rifle to drive the um, pellet down the barrel and that's what's actually jammed at the moment is that pin. So hopefully I'm going to take this valve right out clean it up and um, see if I can get it actually working again um, if not I might have to remake it but apart from that the rifle is very easy to actually work on I've made a new um, pump seal for it out of PTFE and an o-ring rather than the rubber one that it had in it so like I say hopefully at a later day I'll have this one go in And what I like about these in-scam endoscopes is that they all seem to share the same program which is dead easy to set up and use. Incidentally I've got the battery charging at the moment it shows it's fully charged, a little blue light comes on there and it was red and there's a um, symbol there to show it's fully charged. This is the menu button, you have resolution, date and time date stamp so you can have a date on the videos or photos you take brightness which is the brightness of the display format for formatting the SD card space which is the available space left on the SD card so if I press that one it'll show that and then you have language I think the um, system supports seven different languages and then you have default settings and the version and probably at a later day I haven't um, looked it up yet but you may be able to get um, the latest firmware for this uh, program online and it's as easy as that and that's why I like it it's a fantastic little unit to use The user's manual comes in this little card envelope inside the box and it's nicely written, easy to understand and very straightforward if you need to use it. But I do like the InScam um, endoscopes because the menus are so easy to use.
And again with this um, endoscope, it's very simple to actually operate. It's just um, a press on the OK button to actually take a photo. Um, if you want to go into videos, it's a long press on the OK button and it goes into videos. Now it's recording and then there's a short press on that one. And also you can um, swivel the screen around like that or the opposite way using the up arrow there to view the photos and video it's a short press of the on off button and it'll take you to the folder OK and then all the photos will come up and you can obviously go through those um, different photos and you can see there on that photo there um, that's the lead seal on the actual um, valve inside the um, air rifle and you can actually see some damage on the end of the bronze thread there which I've got to get um, a tool down over. Um, I would presume that maybe someone put a too strong a spring in that one at one point or whatever and when it went forward and hit the pin it was hitting the bronze or someone was trying to get that um, valve out at some point but hopefully I can get a tool down over that um, damage. I might have to even make a small tool up to actually take some of that damage off first so I can actually get the tool over that thread. But you can see there um, using this endoscope that you can actually get some stunning um, pictures inside bores. You can even see the finishes on um, components inside um, they're absolutely crystal clear and it's a very impressive little endoscope and this is some video footage I've just taken inside the gun The actual image quality is exceptional. Plus it's also excellent for looking at other things like this um, gold ring here for looking at the actual all marks so it'd be good in the jewellery trade or whatever plus the endoscope is excellent for looking at threads on engineering components like the one I've just taken out from this um, gun here it's a very fine thread on that one and I can have a real close-up look at those threads to see if there's any damage or whatever plus it's excellent for looking at the end of um, carbide inserts that you're using to see whether they need changing or not So you can see there that the endoscope has some excellent uses in engineering apart from the other excellent uses in medical use. And it's a great tool and great value for money.